Hello everyone and welcome to yet again another Friday new product post here at Sparkfin Electronics. This is Robert. We've got a couple products to talk about this week so let's jump right in and talk about them. First up we've got a brand new ProtoSnap LilyPad product. This is the ProtoSnap LilyPad Simple board and you can see it's a little bit different than the traditional dev board that we sell. It's got a lot less extra stuff attached to it. It's just got a buzzer and four LEDs with the LilyPad Simple. If you're not familiar with the full development board, it's got like an RGB LED and um, I think like a temp sensor and maybe like a push button and some other things. So this is a little bit simpler if you're just looking to do some LEDs or some basic stuff like that. It comes with this board. It's got the LilyPad FTDI, a couple spools of conductive thread, this adorable little LiPo battery, and some needles as well. So it comes with everything you need to use this, then break it apart, sew it into something, and you're good to go. If you're not familiar with the ProtoSnap stuff at all, let me just you know kind of show you what happens and then break it apart and give you an idea of the concept behind it. Here we've got the board, and the interesting thing about this is as you can tell from these labels, everything is already pre-connected. You can see exactly where each pedal connects to the LEDs and then it comes back to the ground. We've got this set up with some basic demo code that actually uses these two um, pads as um, resistive touch sensors and we can actually play some music on the buzzer. So I'm going to plug this in, wait for these lights to go through the little setup. And so we just got basic little code that's just playing some tones through the buzzer when you use this as a touch sensor. The idea behind the whole ProtoSnap lineup is you've got this board, you can load some code onto it and pre-program it, do whatever you want to do, and then once you're done, you can actually sew this into your shirt or sew this into your project. And all you have to do is just snap this frame away and now you're left with pretty much the exact same lily pad simple that we sell and then you can snap away this buzzer and then if we snap away these LEDs, these are the same as the LilyPad LEDs. What you're getting is you're getting all these individual products in one frame, and then you can prototype it and test it within the frame, and then when you're ready to actually make your project and sew it into whatever you're doing, you just snap it apart and sew it in, and you're good to go. So here we've got a very interesting product, and you know it's interesting because I've got Jim with me. Say hello, Jim. Hi. This is the long-awaited electric amp. Um, the Electric Amp is creating quite a buzz on the internet, and um, as far as I know, we're the only place you can get it right now, I think. The Electric Imp is this very small card, which looks just like an SD card, um, but it is not. It is essentially a microcontroller and a Wi-Fi radio built into one. Um, it is the same form factor as an SD card, but it doesn't work as an SD card. What it does is it allows you to plug this into um, these different boards, which we will be carrying very soon, and allows those boards, um, you know, an Arduino shield or a breakout board or anything else, to become a Wi-Fi node. And in this little tiny electric imp, you've also got a microcontroller. Um, you've got an ARM core microcontroller in here with, um, what, six IOs and some other stuff. Yeah. Um, so in the size and form factor of an SD card, you have a Wi-Fi module plus a microcontroller. Let's have Jim talk about these different development boards and some of the other features of the Electric Imp. Yeah, thanks, Robert. Um, I was lucky enough to start playing with these before they were re released, so I just wanted to demo them out for you guys really quick. Uh, when you get the imp, it obviously doesn't know anything about your wireless network, uh, your, the name or the password. So first things first, you'll, you'll power it up. There's a, a couple phone apps for iPhone and Android that you can just flash the, the wireless settings over to it. So that those will send the, the name of your network, the, the password, and the encryption. And then this guy and the breakout board or whatever it's connected to will instantly be on the, the internet. They'll be able to talk to the Electric Imp cloud service. And so you can send code over to them, you can write code, um, do that all over the air over your, your wireless network. So instead of having this module, like you know, a, a Wi-Fi shield or something like that, where you have to put that on an Arduino, plug in your Arduino, and then you know, use the um, IDE to program it, with this, you're just using your phone to flash your network um, password and SSID. So then, now that it's on your network, all you have to do is go to the Electric Imp cloud front and just 
start programming it directly from there. It's already on your network. It's already talking. This module doesn't need to connect to your computer. It already is because the module itself is already talking to your network. And so, like I said, everything is cloud-based. So you, you program on the, on the internet in your browser. So I programmed this imp right now just to blink an LED, obviously. That's the first thing you got to do. They have six I.O. pins. They're all 3.3 volts, so watch out for that. And those six I.O. pins can do UART, uh, SPI, I squared C, so they got a lot of features, and ADC and PWM as well. These boards are um, prototype boards that we've been working on, and we're very close to releasing these, so we'll have a shield and just this basic breakout. Um, expect these very early in October. Each of these boards has their own unique ID, and so what's really cool is I can have an electric amp plugged into this shield running code that's right now it's just blinking LEDs and talking over the UART to the Arduino. Um, I can take that electric amp out and plug it into just one of the breakout boards, and it'll do a different version of Blink. It downloads a new set of code for this board in particular, and it just runs it. So it knows what board it's plugged into, know what code it's supposed to run for each of those individual boards, Yeah, just goes ahead and does it. And so while that's really cool, it does mean that because all the breakout boards that work with Electric Amp have that, they have to have that ID chip on them, so even though this looks like an SD card, same form factor and everything, it's still not an SD card. Um, so you do have to use like electric imp compatible boards with them. And like I said, we will have, these are prototype boards that we're working on, we will have these. In the meantime, I will post a link in the product post this week and on the electric imp's website or on the electric imp's product page that tells you the reference designs on you know what that chip is, how to program with these. But once again, do not expect to just get like our normal SD breakout or anything like that and expect it to work with the imp. It needs this special design. So do you want to show them how the code works? Yeah, let's get to the code. So this is the electric imp uh, interface. Uh, this first window shows all of your electric imps as they're connected. Um, so here is one of my breakout boards. Here is a development board. Um, so these are all just the different boards that I've connected to electric imps to. Um, and then it'll also show what code it's running currently. So if I look at this one a little closer, this code is running on one of their development boards right now, which has an I squared C chip on it. So it's a lot more complicated than just blinking LED and LED. The code language is called Squirrel. Like I said, it's kind of like similar to JavaScript or C++. It's a scripting language. And then if we go back to the, the planner and look at other bits of code, like this one is running a just a LED blinker and it is interfacing with other, um, in this case it's in interfacing with a virtual imp which is sending it ones and zeros and based on what that, whether it's a one or a zero it'll turn an LED on or off. So there you have it, yet again another Friday new product post. Check out the LilyPad ProtoSnap Simple and um, definitely check out the Electric Imp. The Electric Imp is going to be a huge product. Um, we really hope to see this being embedded in a lot of um, commercial electronics coming up and get your hands on the developer edition Electric Imps and start playing around with it. And make sure you look out for the development boards that we're going to be coming up with uh, here in the next few weeks. So thanks for watching and see you again next week.